How does colon cancer start? Colon polyps are tiny growths that form on the inside of the large intestine, also known as the colon. Polyps are very common. Roughly one-third to one-half of all adults have them by the time they are 50 years old. They do not usually cause symptoms. But some polyps can be or become cancer. Doctors usually find colon polyps when they are doing screening tests to check for colorectal cancer. Cancer screening tests are tests that are done to try and find cancer early, before a person has symptoms. The screening tests for colorectal cancer include colonoscopy, sigmoidoscopy, CT colonography, also known as virtual colonoscopy, and stool tests. If a stool test is abnormal, it is usually followed up with a colonoscopy. What are the different types of colon polyps? Tubular adenoma and sessile serrated adenoma are types of colon polyp that have the potential to grow larger and become a colon cancer over many years if not removed. Tubulovilus or villus adenoma is a kind of colon polyp that is considered advanced and would likely have developed into colon cancer in one to three years. Hyperplastic polyp is a type of colon polyp that is considered benign and generally does not indicate the need for more frequent colonoscopies in the future unless they are very large or located in the right side of the colon. Inflammatory polyp is a type of polyp and result from a variety of benign inflammatory conditions and does not pose a risk for development of cancer. Condyloma are small warts in the anal canal caused by HPV. These small warts have a small risk of progressing to anal cancer, and current recommendations are to get them removed in the area treated. You will need to be monitored for recurrence in the future. How are colon polyps treated? Doctors remove polyps using the same tools they use for a colonoscopy. Most polyps can be removed during a colonoscopy. Sometimes, large polyps need to be removed at a later time. What happens after polyps are removed? You might need to have a colonoscopy every few years to check for more polyps. If you had the kind of polyps that could become cancer, your doctor will want to remove them as they appear. Also, if the polyps you had removed were the kind that could become cancer, people in your family might need to be checked for polyps and colon cancer too. Depending on your situation, your doctor might suggest genetic testing. To reduce your chances of getting polyps or colon cancer. Eat a diet that is low in fat and high in fruits, vegetables, and fiber. Lose weight if you are overweight. Do not smoke. Limit the amount of alcohol you drink. Take folic acid daily. Thanks for listening. Subscribe to Diseases Simplified for more health tips and updates.